In the previous video, I had showed you how to play the game. I will now show you the ins and outs of how the spreadsheet works. This is not necessary unless you want to make modifications to how the spreadsheet works or how the game is played. Uh, the most important thing to start with is on the order side. The demand is what the orders are that are incoming for the retailer. These are, this is predetermined. I've set it up so that there's five for the first nine, uh, first 10 weeks. On the 10th week, I set it up to be a random number between eight and 12, depending on the day of the week or the date. And this is also explained here. You can modify how this field works. Um, you can modify how this is also uh, played out. When each team places an order, it changes this field to true, uh, and that's how it keeps moving the uh, this green field down for each of the teams. It'll change this value, which is comes from here, which is this value, which comes from here, determining which the last true all orders in. On the supply side, this is actual supplies that are being generated from the factory. So when the when factory puts in an order, it generates the uh, inventory and it gets supplied down into the factory's inventory at some point. So these are going to equal whatever the factory orders. Here, the column SD1 is how much has been shipped out of the factory based on what the supplier has ordered and based on the backlog of what the um, factory might have had. It's a fairly complicated uh, formula with a lot of conditions. I think I've worked out all the quirks on all the different conditions for it. If there are any errors, please let me know in comments or however. Uh, this SD1 field, the WD1 field, and RD1 field, and the retail sent field are all calculated using that same formula based on the uh, fields around them. So this is based on the in factory inventory, the order that was placed in, and if there was a backlog or not for the factory. Uh, likewise for here. This is also the same field that is used for what is being shipped out. So you'll notice that wholesaler shipped out five and the retailer is getting five in their two weeks uh, field here. So those numbers will always match. Same thing between the wholesaler and the supplier and the supplier and the factory. Now, obviously the factory is whatever they put the number here, it's automatically gonna pop up here. So if I put in 500, I'm gonna generate 500 of that inventory in two weeks. Probably not the wisest thing to do, but you know, the, however the kids want to play it or your students want to play it. Um, that goes into the details of how, um, so these fields here are all just gathered from the individual fields here, uh, also based on the order side. So it only displays um, specific weeks if, you know, teams skip ahead or anything like that. Uh, you can generate whatever uh, charts you want here. Uh, I think these two are the most useful for determining who kept their costs down and which uh, team, what the inventory looked like throughout the game. Another thing you can do is you can share information. You can say, well, what information would have been helpful in sharing this? So maybe you can have this up on the, you know, presentation display while other students can, you know, place their orders. Um, and see if that helps them. Really, the important thing that's going to help them is to know what the orders are that are going to be, be coming in. They can kind of like, you know, judge how much they sh should be pre-ordering or whatever, uh, depending on how the wholesaler, uh, retailer, suppliers work. You can make your own charge for this also if necessary. Uh, to utilize this, you can go make a copy for yourself, share it with your students and start playing the game.